Hi, I'm Nancy Jo Safer, and I am with the amazing fashion designer, celebrity fashion designer, Kevin Hall. Hi, it's great to see you. It's good to see you too. <laughs> when one thinks of glamour, sophistication, and modern style with hot couture, it's Kevin Hall they think of. <laughs> you are, I think, one of the best designers that we have, and you are an award-winning you. designer. You have countless awards. You speak at USC, uh, the Norman Lear Center. You're in great demand by celebrities, and we will name them later. But I, I just wanted to have a moment to talk to you about your current you know, line, right. and also the very exciting new 2011 bridal collection. Yes, yes. So tell me what you think of fashion today. It's interesting because we are at a time when a lot of um, things are, you know, um, being embraced. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, uh, not so great taste and some of them really mm -hmm. quite beautiful. Right. But I mean, I think it's just, you know, up to a person to kind of find their own style and find what they love and what makes them feel good and makes them feel confident. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the way people, you know, that's what they wear and that's how they roll. What inspires you, though, for each season to create a new line that's, you know, has to kind of almost up the mm. line before? Right. Well, I love, you know, to kind of look back to great vintage um, styling. I mm -hmm. love, you know, so many decades. I mean, I love the 50s for its exuberance and full, beautiful skirts, and I love the 70s for its clean streamlines. Mm -hmm. So you'll always find, you know, elements of, um, you know, some vintage in my collections. Um, and of course, you know, being here in Hollywood uh, and dressing so many celebrities, mm -hmm. I love the, you know, glamorous, you know, gowns and red carpet looks as well. Do you think that bling has gone to the excessive? I noticed with your detailed work, I mean, you really take such pride in not only the stunning, I mean, the fabrics. I want to find out where you get some of your fabrics because they're one of a kind. I've right. never seen some of them right. before. Right. And your, you know, the expression that you have and the work that you do and the detail of the design is so unique. Mm. and what I think makes you stand out well, among thank you. other designers. Yeah, I think in a way that we have gone a little bit excessive in the bling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like, um, you know, so many beads and so many crystals and so much um, stuff just covering the dresses and covering things that you wear for day is a little um, excessive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I like the approach of, you know, a little bit of elegant restraint. I think a little bit of beading and a little bit of embellishment can go a very long way. Mm -hmm. And for me, really, it's about, yeah, it's about a cut and about um, a line as opposed to just throwing more stuff on the dress. And I think we've seen that kind of skew you know, even on the red carpet. For me, it's really about, about a cut uh, uh, and a line of a, of a dress. And being able to do that so precisely, mm. is, it, it takes a gift, I think, and a lot of, and a lot of education. <laughs> it's education, but it's also in the doing. I mean, yeah. you know, we spend, um, I think I was probably uh, in, the, in the atelier last night till 2 in the morning because wow. I'm in the middle of working on collections. So, you know, it, you agonize about, you know, the, 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 the shape. You agonize over the right color. Is that the right fabric? Am I, you know, interpreting, you know, my sketch properly? Mm -hmm. So it really is um, painful. <laughs> 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 Tell me about your fabrics because they are so unique each mm. one i mean you do different things to them right. you adorn them like you said but not too much yeah. um tell me a little bit about where you get your fabrics right. and, and how you work with your fabrics well very often you know I'll, the fabrics are um we use some domestic fabrics you know when we can find them uh, but then in addition to that we use a lot of imports um, from italy and from france and also from spain and um, very often we'll take um, a simple fabric and then like I said, we'll embellish it or we'll do fabric manipulation, we'll cut it. Sometimes we'll laser cut it or we'll you know, embroider with the self fabric, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, sometimes we'll just take a, just a beautiful piece of goods that you know, we found, which fits into our theme for the collection and just cut a beautiful dress out of it. Tell me what inspires you now. You know, in 2012, mm. as far as the way women look and how you like to see your, you know, clothing on women, what inspires you uh, to create, you mm. know, these different pieces? I think that, you know, women are now, you know, they're very, you know, in the workforce and they are not so um, worried about trying to 
take on a man's role. They're mm -hmm. embracing their femininity in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So, you know, within our collection, we do some really fabulous day dresses that are strong, yet they're feminine. Mm -hmm. So I'm inspired by, you know, beautiful women that are confident and they're, they're out and about and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, I remember, and it was a while ago, but you had just even the way you design a, a shirt mm. for a woman is like yeah. you said it has a strength but a femininity and it's so beautiful yeah. that it was like it's like i want that white shirt i want <laughs> that white shirt yeah it's just you come yeah. in here and you want it's like can right. i take this Kevin? Yeah. can i take this it's there's nothing like, better than a than a white a tailored white shirt on a woman it's, you can't beat it i just love a white shirt with a jean or with a khaki or with a beaded skirt or with a big ball gown skirt. I just love the mixing of the white shirt. I use it with everything. Yeah, and you I do them it. well. And you make them unique too. Yeah. They're not just the basic white shirt. You add something yeah. to it. I'm Nancy Jo Saper talking with fabulous celebrity designer Kevin Hall. And in 2011, he created a new line, a bridal line that is sophisticated, elegant, and just plain yummy. <laughs> Kevin, tell us how you came up with the decision, I'm gonna start in the bridal world. Right, well we had got, received so many calls you know, from people wanting bridal, and we were doing bridal on a one-on-one -on -one kind mm -hmm. of a basis, you know, couture, um, couture mm -hmm. bridal. And so we thought, well, we've gotten so many calls to do it, so mm -hmm. why don't we actually do a full rollout of a bridal collection? And um, we found that the girls were wanting to look more sophisticated. They want to look like celebrities. They mm -hmm. want to look like, you know, they're on the red carpet rather than looking like a cupcake or rather than looking like a, you know, right. a meringue. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we took the idea of giving them that beautiful red carpet aesthetic and taking it to the white carpet to the white carpet, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Well, and the detail, as we've been talking about with your designs, you, just every inch of the dress has something that is special, that makes it stand out. And you can find with a, that's like from the 20s and the 40s and right. where they really took time from inside out, from top to bottom, to really design something yeah. unique. And you do that with your clothes. Well, that's what we uh, uh, attempt to do is we have beautiful linings. Everything is lined out in silk or lined out in a beautiful fine fabric. And as you said, it has all the details and all the embroideries are all done by hand and all laid out so that it's a specific placement on the, on the gown. And then all of our laces are imported and just really exquisite. And we take a lot of care to try to find the right tones. As you can see, this is not just a white gown or just exactly. an ivory gown. There's layers and layers of beautiful silk chiffon and several tones of chiffon within this gown in order to give it this wonderful, rich, luxurious, warm color. With just this little hint. Touch of beating. Of, yeah. Not too much, right. not over blinged, right. not gaudy. It's all about an elegant restraint. Is lace really big this this season? Girls love lace. Yeah, yeah lace is big and the ready to wear, and lace is also big and bridal. Uh, it's again, it's, it speaks back to the feminine side of the girl, and it just looks, you know, lovely. How have the shows been? I want to I want to show this too because it's just, I mean, you yeah, look. This at is this beautiful. is This is extraordinary. Yeah, so you have um, on this particular gown, you have the beautiful um, embroidered. Uh, silver bullion thread, beautiful um, cording in the lavender color, and we, we, we can also change this. A lot of girls will order it and they'll change whatever their color story is for the wedding. Oh, it could okay. be lavender, it could be blue, it could be pink. Then they make the sash in the same color, and then you've got this gorgeous silk organza skirt that is edged in the silver um, and ivory ribbon. So each layer is all kind of just juxtaposition of all the layers. Nothing completely symmetrical, just kind of whimsical in the mm -hmm. way that we kind of approach the skirt. Are you having fun with it? I'm loving the bridal. The bridal is great because this is a really special day for this girl. She's, you know, excited and she, you know, mom and dad and grandma and everybody's involved in the selection of this dress. So this mm -hmm. is a big deal. A huge deal. It's a huge deal. So I'm really excited to be, you know, part of the bridal business because it makes me part of that great day for her. How different is it working with brides and celebrities? You know, it is, um, I would say that it's different. You know, the celebrities are um, 
more specific because mm -hmm. they and actually the, I would say the brides are specific too but the celebrities are more specific because you know these images are going to go around the world right they're really you know conscientious about every single angle you know they agonize in the mirror in the fittings it's intense mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> brides are um, a little bit more carefree uh, but, you know, it's an important day for her. So she really is looking, you know, to look beautiful as well. Right. Um, and then, but she has all of her people. Right. So her people bring the intensity. Yes. <laughs> Mom, yeah, grandma, yeah, right, yeah, friends, right. relatives. Right, exactly. This, this is, is a great gorgeous. little um, dress that would be great for a bride that wants something short and fun and kicky. A lot of the brides are now doing two dresses. They're doing something more formal for the right. ceremony. Right. And then they want to dance and party all night. They want to have a great time at the reception, and they'll change into a great little short um, reception dress, and then this will be their their party their party look. And this is kind of how you were saying using different fabrics right. throughout one piece. Right. You've got um, tulle, you've got organza, you have silk charmeuse, you know. Then you have a silk gazar bodice, and then we develop these gorgeous. Uh, uh, crystal bow belts, Beautiful. which people are just mad. These are selling like crazy, the crystal bow belt, which will go on any gown. We uh, made a special effort to try to find different tones of ivory, different tones of um, uh, cream, different tones of shades of white, and then lining it, like I said, with, in this particular case, you're lined with a kind of a blushy color mm -hmm. here. And this fabric here is also quite beautiful. This is a hammered satin. What is hammered satin? It is a satin that we oh um, gosh, have made stunning. especially for the collection. <gasps> it's really beautiful. And it was a very important fabric in the 70s. Oh my, and it's, it's and kind the, of heavy. The weight is incredible. Oh. It's very luxurious. Oh my So we gosh, love that. This is beautiful. Yeah. Is this a big seller? It is. Yeah. Yeah, women love the hammered satin. Yeah. You, you don't see stunning. it anywhere. No. It's very I've special. I've never seen anything like this yeah, before. Yeah, very it's special really fabric. Beautiful. This is called the Mansfield. So this is like named after Jane Mansfield. You name your dresses, the, all right? All the dresses, all the bridal dresses are named. And since this is, a, you know, uh, the collection is based on Hollywood and on right? glamour, I pick iconic um, stars of the past and of the present, and each one is named. Uh, I find that the people in the bridal business are really lovely people. Yeah. They have the best parties during, during <laughs> bridal week. I'm telling you, the parties are unbelievable. Wow. Great parties during bridal week. Uh, and they're just so gracious and so kind. And I, maybe it's because it's just a happy right. time. It's a happy business. Yeah. You know, it's really great. That's wonderful. Yeah. So when you think bridal, think Kevin Hall. <laughs> and we're going to continue. Why don't we sit down and we'll talk a little bit about celebrities. All right. Kevin, when we talk about celebrities, hmm. you have dressed the best A-list celebrities. Tell me what's it like working with them. Name a few that you have worked with. Right. I know Selma Hayek. I know right. that there's Vanessa Williams. There, I mean, there's so many. Right, Katherine Heigl. Yes. Um, who else? Drew Barrymore. Um, Felicity Huffman. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Vanessa Williams. She's one of my favorite girls to dress. Um, it goes on and on. It really yeah. does. When you, when you look at your biography or you look at you know, anything written about you, there's just a list of so many celebrities that love what you do mm. and look so beautiful in your, you. in your clothes. Uh, what's it like working with, let's say, Vanessa Williams? In the case of Vanessa, you know, she comes in, she will try on, we'll propose a number of different options for mm -hmm. her, she'll try on, and then we will, you know, do uh, custom fittings and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. which is really great. And she has a great sense of style and a great taste level and is not afraid to take chances. That I love. Yes. When we dress, for instance, Sel Selma Hayek um, several years ago, um, she was going to the Cannes Film Festival. Honestly, we sent beautiful things over. She right. picked out of all the designers in the world that had sent her things. She picked one of my wow. gorgeous um, powder blue Angora sweater with a duchess satin skirt. It was so gorgeous. And that particular year, she said it was one of her favorite looks of the year. Wow, congratulations. So, um, yeah. The Beverly Hills Housewives. That yeah. I know. <laughs> that I remember. <laughs> tell, me about, tell me about that fashion show and how that came about. Well, that was fun. Um, they approached me to participate in the fashion, to do a fashion show, you know, for Adrian Maloof's launch of her shoe collection. Mm -hmm. And so it was really exciting uh, to do that because um, 
there so many viewers for that particular show. Oh my gosh. Which yeah. I had no idea because I honestly had not seen the show prior. Right. Um, but once I received the invitation, you know, I was very interested in seeing who these lovely ladies were. So right. I tuned in and found it to be a lot of fun. Right. So, of course, once it aired, um, you know, the phone was ringing off the hook because we have so many people that love the show. So did you find a lot of new clients from we that did. episode? We did get lots of calls, you know, from all over the country. Wow. So it was really exciting. Yeah. From all over the country? All over the country. That's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. That's so. great. And it was a great showcase for us because, you know, you saw on the show that my name, Kevin Hall, was bold. Absolutely. Right, you know, on the runway and the models looked amazing. It was a great um, collection that we showed mm -hmm. and uh, it was nicely edited. Yes, it was beautiful. I was so excited for you. Yeah. I said it was a guilty pleasure. I'm embarrassed that I say I watch it, even though I shouldn't be. <laughs> but like you said, you hear that a lot. So um, I was so excited when I was like, Kevin Hall, I'm like, yay, yeah. Kevin, go yeah. Kevin. It's so it exciting. Great. What's on the horizon for Kevin Hall? What's on the horizon? Well, you know, just the bridal, just to continue to, to you know, uh, develop the bridal collection and uh, continue with the ready to wear, being doing a bit of traveling, doing the trunk shows and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just building the brand. I wish you continued success with your ready to wear and especially your bridal collection because it is stunning. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Pleasure. It's great to see you. <laughs>